Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to address a question that I have received on one of my videos, and that is to um, that's how to change colors in your WordPress theme. So um, a lot of themes will allow you to uh, change the colors to some extent. So some of them do a better job than others but you can always use the CSS custom codes to work around that and customize your colors even further. Now, let's take a look at the, uh, the theme that I'm using here. So let's navigate all the way back to the dashboard. So um, this is my, you know, the test site that I always show in my videos. And this is my main website. So I will show you a comparison in between those two WordPress themes. Now, in this one, you will see that if I navigate to appearance and then themes, no, actually to customize. So this is my website. You will see that I get, I do get an option for colors. So if I click on that one, I can actually modify the background color and the header and footer background color. So if I do that, what this will do is it's, it's changing you see the background color um for pretty much everything actually everything minus the header and footer which i can set here right so say i do uh, something like this right but please observe, I mean, this is a very minimalist uh, set of uh, attributes, so I can't really customize much. I mean, it's just giving me two options. That That's really not enough. Is it the same in every theme? The answer is no. So if I go to my main site, I'm also using a, a free theme here, but it's a different one. That's called the Pressbook Dark you see that in colors, it's actually offering me more choices. But it doesn't mean that this, this set of options, although, I mean, it's a little larger than this one, it's still not enough. I mean, this is, this is not everything I should be able to customize, right? So let's go back to this one because this is really very, very limited. Um, so if I do navigate back, what are my options here? Again, I need to identify each element on my page, uh, which I would like to change, right? So how do I do that? So first of all, I navigate to my CSS code. This is how we will achieve this. And um, see, this is uh, the code from our previous two videos where we were manipulating um, the custom logo and the size and, uh, and the position. Now we will actually add more code here. But before that, I, I need to know what exactly I am going to change on my web page. For that, let's say I will, I'll pick something, right. So you see that I have a lot of different elements on this page. Like when I'm hovering over them, I can see that this is a, a div post inner. This is div entry content. This is header intersection. And this is entry title. So let's take this large chunk, which is div.entry-content and um, see what we can do here. So that would be um, div dot entry dash content. And so if I say background color, so if, if you don't really know a lot about the color codes, you can navigate to this website, which is htmlcolorcodes.com and then you will get all the information that you need. So there's a color chart for all the color tones. And if you scroll down, you'll get the basic colors as well. Like if you're really not looking for the inner 
you know, in between tones, but like the most common HTML color codes are here on a list. You have black and maroon and everything. So let's pick olive. Let's take this one and go back to our code. Right. So now I believe you understand what I mean. Now I have a, a much larger liberty to set the background color for each element on my web page. So this one set the background color for the entry content, which is this huge chunk. So if I continue doing this, then there is the h1 uh, dot entry dash title h1 dot entry dash title. So right. So you see now it did actually change the background color for this one as well. This element. Let's take another. Um, color so that you, do, you can see it more clearly. Right. See, now I have changed the background color for this particular element and this huge, uh, large element here. So now you get the idea how you can achieve this. It's quite simple. First of all, open your page in a web browser, right click, inspect, and then click this little icon here so you, you can navigate um, through items, the different elements. And then don't click anything, actually. Just, um, just hover your mouse on each element and then note um, the name of this element, like h1.entry-title. Here it's uh, div.entry-content. Here it's header intersection. Let's see. Um, here, for example, it's uh, section inner, footer, header, footer. So, so you get the idea. You need to note those names and then apply, um, apply your background color to those elements individually. Unless you want to set everything at once using the color options of your website. Okay, so here it is. You see this little code, just uh, capture the name of your elements. And in brackets, you would use background dash color, and then apply the color code, the HTML color code, which you can obtain from this side or for, from any other site, basically. Right. All right, so I hope this video has been useful for you. Um, please take a couple of seconds to give a thumbs up, a like to this video. It would help a lot. Thank you very much. Leave your comments um, below the video and see you in the next WordPress video. Thank you very much.